going on guys? It is Thursday evening and I just arrived at the Kanaktai Casino and RV Resort on Clear Lake. Now I'm just pulling in looking for the campsite. I'm sharing with a couple guys. We'll see how it turns out. He's called me. I think he's right in front of me. Looks like Mike's Hobie. What's up man? Good. Where are we? The site is 34 but there's an RV in it. I circled the whole lake. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to find clean water. Was, that, can't, that can't happen every year to that extreme. I've never seen it like this before. Is there one spot where they're getting caught in the Mirage Drive? All the dead bait and you could just... It was creepy, dude. You stand up and look like you're on rocks. I, that's what it looked like. Dude, there's bass like this big in there. Eyeballs like that. Oh yeah, yeah I think you're good. We did it. For the RV car? Okay. You guys get nervous at all? I did for the Comanche one because it's the first one. And since then, that was my first one too. I'm very much just like, you know what? All in all, came out here to get to hang out with you guys. Fish all weekend. How was dinner? We haven't eaten yet. We just went and looked at the water. Really? It's what we do, dude. Oh, for it's you. you. Uh. <laughs> Are you practicing putting your coat dude, on? I'm the worst. You. <laughs> you do it, Greg. You're the tech guy. I told you, I'll fix stuff. Six, you write it down. Five, oh, that's way better. What's that say? <laughs> I can't even read it. Welcome back to another video. I'm actually pretty excited. That is Clear Lake in the background. Last year here at Clear Lake. Long story short, hopefully I can do much better this year. Probably not the smartest thing to do is to hit a beer bottle against a hard object. So how'd you get these chips? Uh, Justice and Freedom and Indy got them for me. My sons. There you go. <laughs> Guys, this is the house that we're staying in. It's gonna be 17 of us here. 17? Yeah. Holy <laughs> Holly made some awesome tacos earlier. Holly's the best team mom because she spends her whole Saturday going to the store and shopping for a bunch of fishing idiots. Lots really? of meat. There's lots of meat. Lots There's, of meat. I think there is 30 pounds of meat. This is what we live for, guys. Going to bed at 3 in the morning, waking up at 4 in the morning, and fishing out of a plastic boat. <laughs> I know. I pre-fished the pre-tournament derby. Am I good? Yeah, man. Turn the sh** on for me, Gray. I'm the rook to this, baby. <laughs> you know, give me your right. My... <laughs> it's time for the pre-tournament derby. Whoever yeah, catches one fish is taking that trophy home. Yeah. This is bigger. Man, I'm bringing that thing home. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves a hero. Here we go, finally. That's not a bad fish at all. Got him. Isn't that what you always say? Ah, that's Ooh. Awful, Ooh. Know what happened. So you won again, huh? That's, well, that's the video, guys. Hey, morning. Oh, oh, it's nothing. I tried to wake them up, but they won't wake up. Clear Lake. Yo. Hey, it's only going to get worse. Dude, it says it's one mile an hour, and it feels like it's 15, 20. Because it funnels right there. I'll find you. I'll call you when I'm coming. Dude, I appreciate it. There's the man right there. It's the first, right? I thought I was gonna lose all my routes today, anyways, to the sea. To the Clear Lake Sea. Always keeping it interesting. Sorry. Thanks for saving me. Yeah, no problem. That was fun. So, I fished the south end today and caught one fish. Mike already knows. So, mine was going like this, like catwalking. Dude, we got a house. We're moving on up in this world. It's amazing. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. That's Van Miller. Hello. We are stocked up. Terry Sullivan, everyone. Hey. I'm still drunk. I'm on like the same bite I was yesterday. Non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at all that beer in there. Okay, I think we're almost there, huh? I just choked it. Holy smokies, that's a very, very nice call, folks. Uh, oh, hey, all What up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, YouTube. Mike did good today. Mike's sitting behind me. You're in fourth? I'm not behind you. But I am. Did you in fourth? <laughs> well, here you are. Hey! Welcome, welcome all. We're here. It's close. It's real tight. It's real I mean, tight. If anybody in the fish clear, like, you know, you always got that chance. You're going to have to fight that guy. <laughs> well, brrr, let's get ready then. <laughs> Dude, this is not taking long at all. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. This lake is insane. Well, tomorrow it won't matter. Oh, is he going to back in? I thought he 
was just gonna say. What's his mood gonna be like, Terrence? Well, I think it's gonna be a little irritated, slightly pissed off, but we'll get a couple beers in. Should we have a beer at the wedding? Oh yeah, we'll get a beer. Hey, hey. Yeah, cold beer. Oh right. wow, buddy, thank you. All right, Hi. I'm all right, how are you? Tired, smoked out, throat's rough, eyes burn, but good. Why are we up this early? Uh, we like the torture. Torture time? You guys ready to go fishing? Honestly, I'd rather be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of here. Quality's here. Oh, God. I knew there was one there. Beautiful. Man, this prefish is like seriously working out. To a solid prefish, man. Cheers. Cheers, man. Hey, Greg. 5 pounds box in the house. All done. What's up, Melissa? I mean, think about every tournament we've come here for. Someone always gets like mid 90s. What's it going to take for two days? A lot of sleep, coffee, beer, and a limit. <laughs> Giant. How'd your day go? Really good. I think you're 66. I'm 67. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very proud. Yeah. Oh, had a hard day. Almost as many years as you guys are old. I used to work at the marina. Masakas. <laughs> Congrats to Aldi. Heck Thank yeah. You. I gotta eat fish tacos because I didn't catch them. The inside of me. Oh, hey, video camera. Tournament over. Clearly, like, holy smokes. People crush it. Like, there's a hundred boats on here every day, Please. and it still puts out 30 pound bags. We were talking about it, like, they just fight. So, Dude, it's, it's different. Shot. The fish in Clear Lake are not like the fish in your local there. lake. They're cutting part of this out, aren't they? Like 75% <laughs> This is a live stream, Terrence. <laughs> Dude, this is one of the best videos happen when we ramble on and he, he's a good editor now. I'm very proud of his editor. Thank you. Well guys, thank you for coming along. Hope you enjoyed this one. Fun time with the crew. Clear Lake is amazing. Clear Lake is amazing. Yeah. Alright, see you guys later. Camera screen. Hey buddy, how are you? Good, how are you? Dude, it's really cool You here. have a different look every time I see you. What is it this time? It's to beat your feeble, childlike mustache. It only took me a day and a half. All right, here we are, Clear Lake. Dude, we're here. Dude, we're right by the water. I got my bed. You know, the old camp cot. Oh boy, your room. You're making Dude, a room. Look at that little tiny car. Hey, don't make fun of my baby truck. This is actually perfect. We even have AC. I know. It's pretty nice. Holy crap! Every year it gets a little nicer. Dude, we've really come up from sleeping in the car. <laughs> yes! Look what's in here. It's delicious. It was pretty epic. Cheers, buddy. Clear like 2022. Mm. Wow, that's pretty warm. Disgusting. I was in my truck for three hours. Dude, this is sick. It's so I know, it really is a good, good location. God, I feel much better now. That drive sucks. When you knowingly are going an extra two hours for no reason, it hurts. Yeah. What's up with the sleep? I figured you and Terrence would take the snorer's bedroom. Yeah, that's the only bad thing. There's not really a lot of bedrooms. Once I get my bedroom set up, I'm gonna drink a couple beers. GB! What's up, man? What's going on, brother? You up here? Yeah, me and Mike are here. Where you at? Um, down here at the grocery store getting us some sandwich meat for a sandwich. I got hella sandwich meat. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Right. I brought two pounds, and I think Terrence is bringing two pounds. But whatever, right. maybe get more. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on, fellas? So you already made it out? You just got here, man. You should pull it forward, and then I'll pull it more. I should probably be last, because I ain't driving anywhere. What do you mean you're not driving nowhere? No, I'm just launching here tomorrow. I set my boat up on, like, a dolly. With the houses on the water? Uh, not on the water, but it's kind of close. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, I'll be there in like 30. All right, that's it. All right. I was going to say, if we want to go lightweight, we do have boats here. It came with boats. Oh, yeah. Is that your paddle? Yeah, it's my newest paddle. 
Dude, that thing looks fast. I know. If anyone loses a paddle, we got extras. Or a kayak, if anyone's kayak has a problem. Whoa. Me and you could just take that one at two team tournament this weekend. Where the hell did you come from? How'd you know we were here? Mikey called me. Oh, we're, we're trying to avoid it. Just joking. I figured just so. Just joking. How you doing? Good. Mr. Uh, Dutcher, Big Fish Dutcher, That's aka me. Crocs. If you ain't crocking, you ain't rocking, bro. Do a team tournament instead? We already did it. <laughs> we just whacked him out there. So we heard it's pretty tough up here. That's what I've been hearing. Everybody I've run into said that it's been pretty rough. Damn, that's crazy. It's never tough. Yeah, everybody I've everybody I've run into saying it's pretty tough. Really? No kidding. Yeah. Can't believe you got a new boat. That's weird. I know. Dutcher has my old one. I know. He's gonna get a black wig and pretend he's me. That'd be sick. You just stand hunched over like this and we'll be like, hey, grab your red life jacket. Yeah. Go in the air conditioner. Yeah, I got the. Dude, this is a pretty nice place. Oh, you guys even have candles to set the mood and everything? There he is. I have arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm thinking y'all know who this is. What's going on, baby? How What's you doing? doing? All right. How's everybody doing out there, man? You guys ready for another adventure? Here we go. Another adventure. Clear Lake. Clear Lake. Me and Mouse get a championship. You know? There go my brother right Woo! there, man. That's the man of the hour, Tower of Power. Good to see you, brother. Oh, you fishing today? Yeah, oh, man. Oh, oh, I didn't even know you were like here punching. All right. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good, good to see you guys, man. Come on in. Yeah. Come on in. Make yourself at home, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, my God. When I tell you, it's the toughest ever out there. I had one bite. Are you bite. serious? Oh, one. man. Why is everyone saying oh, it's tough? Yeah, I had one Did you go to State Park? Nope. Actually, I went out of Brando's and bent the right and went over there to the islands and all down that way. None on my island? Nope. Oh, well, that cuts me out for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> When I tell you, it's so much, it's so much bait in the water. And everybody who I passed was like, nope, 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 nope. Don't mean to interrupt, but before it gets too dark, do you want to go check out the water? How well, far is it? It looks like a lot of work. It's up to you. It's not Can far. we drive down there? We can we car? Get a ride on your back? Should we bring some top waters down like in about a half hour? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going fishing or just going down there? Just going down to say hi to the lake. Hi to the lake. Hi lake, you yeah. spell like Oh, is that yours? Yeah, that's my commuter. Uh oh, just used to your giant oversized truck. Yeah. Oh. I guess you bought a uh, travel trailer. Yeah. It's an easy wheel. Yeah, see, I came down here not too long ago before the ABA tournament and I got this chain on here and it's locked. That's why I didn't launch here. I wonder if we can just talk to whoever runs this thing. All right, so folks, Beautiful Clear Lake. Yeah, this is the uh, Airbnb we're staying at. It's just like 50, 60 yards maybe down the way. So there's a launch right here, which is nice. So brought the dynamic dolly and ideally launch right here. Put the boat on the dolly, wheel her down and uh, go fishing. No driving to the launch, unloading, getting stuff ready. Save a lot of time, sleep in a little extra. I'm all for that. And this is the area that we fished last year, crossed the lake and did pretty good. So that's kind of like the idea. I'm not saying fishing history is the smartest thing, but if everything aligned and everything was perfect, which I'm hoping it will be, we're gonna try that tomorrow. We're gonna launch right here. Hopefully get on some fish, perfect situation. But that's not fishing, right Dutch? No, no, no that never works that way. Probably just close the boats. Water's low, as we can tell. Theology. See what I was hoping was uh, I was hoping we'd come down here to what seven o'clock and there'd be fish busting and blowing up and kind of revealing themselves. But I don't really see much. I see one grass patch. I'm not liking it. I don't know. I mean, reports are it's been pretty rough. I hate to say this, part of me wants to put the kayak back in the truck and maybe go somewhere else tomorrow and use this as the plan B. We got three days of fish, or four days of fishing here though, so hopefully we'll figure something out. Sooner rather than later, because the tournament, it's Wednesday night, practice tomorrow, tournaments start on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they go through, so. All right, let's go back. You always put the parking brake on? Yeah, it's just a habit. <laughs> I might do that. I might take my boat off the dynamic dolly, put it in the truck, and plan on going somewhere else tomorrow. Should I flip a coin? <laughs> oh, sorry, you guys are fan. What are you trying to get to? Yeah, you're good. 
There he is. What's up, fellas? Mr. Aldi Waldi. You, man. you too. There oh, man. What's up, mate? How are you, bro? Yeah, where's the rest of you? It's coming back. Place is good. Let's check it. Uh, the bed situation is a little interesting. <laughs> if you and I got want to really get to know each other, we can share a bed. I don't care. But... Hey! Hey! What's up, bro? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, wow. oh, what kind of what's happening? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Uh, Come on, back. Let's oh, go. Gotcha. Kings. <laughs> Been here for approximately two hours, and I have like a thousand hours of footage already. <laughs> Oh, right by the library park. Oh, yeah. yeah. How'd so, you end up in the huge room with your little tent? I don't know. Greg said I was sleeping with the snore room. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm just in the tent. Well, you f him up. I have one bite. A nibble. Did you catch the fish? The hell no. <laughs> that's what a nibble is. I threw that little worm right, there. That? That's, that's what, what he said. Tick. I said, that's a bite. I don't know. Swat. That worked. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what's yeah. weird about this lake too? And you guys tell me if you found out different. Generally in areas you go to other lakes, you fish, you don't it, it, you don't get bit, you get downsized and get a bite here and there. Yep. I've never caught a fish on a small bait here. Meaning like going from a normal robo worm right, down to yeah. a four oh, inch, yeah, I've no, never no. done it. It's so much bait out there. It's a lot of competition. <laughs> yeah. Last man here. Last man here. Muscle shirt. Good to see you. Yeah, the guns muscle out. shirt. Yeah, very good. It's, it's only 106 in Chico. Yeah, it's a little toasty here. So, nice though. Great drive. Sunset was awesome. I got lots of beer. I figured. It's going to be a good weekend. I'm sorry, nobody can see you. Sorry, Terrence. Huh? There we go. Okay, I'm here now. All right, let's see what you yeah. got. All right. You brought the presents? Uh, yes, I did. They're in the back. I got some ice. I got, like all my gear. Yeah. Beer in the back. Yes. Well, man. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, oh, so oh. Championship. Good, good to see you. Good to see you, Good to see you, man. You already yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. Horseman. I'm not gonna say this out loud, but right now, I think the winning side of the table is over here. So oh, you guys might want to switch up. There it is. I'm, I'm sitting down trying to get a little bit of big fish. Yeah. Or, you're gonna have to rub a little lower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how what? you're gonna be yeah, fishing down. spider grub. Down. Down. Cramp down. In, cramp don't worry in. about how I fish my spider grub. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, how you fish this? How you fish this? I'll, I'll tell you how. I think we gotta keep dude, moving. Dude, all dude. Day. <laughs> all <laughs> day. I saw 25 all bass boats way in here. Like, like all right, let's all do right, it. All right. all right, folks, welcome back. My gosh, it's 2022, uh, sixth year at Clear Lake. Six year. Woo! Six year. If you follow the channel, you know that every August here in Northern California, Clear Lake is the tournament. It's the trip. It's the one we all look it's forward to. It's the big one. Another giant tournament. We've got, I don't even know how many, like seven tournaments in the next three days. Thousand dollars in entry fees, something like that. Crazy amounts oh, of tournaments. Know. We'll populate them right here. That's what we got. <laughs> So, yeah, exactly, right there. So there's a lot of stuff going on, but the fact of the matter is... Nice going. We're gonna ruin the intro. Well, okay. okay. Right. Intro. Let's restart it. Let's try it again. Wait, restart it? You got all yeah, that. Yeah. You got all We was rolling right there. We were looking so good, dude. Dutch. We got folks, <laughs> folks at home. This is very difficult to do. This. <laughs> I, can, I cannot explain how hard it is to do this right now. You know, the group is uh, is evolved over the years. Way back when, I mean, it all started at Clear Lake, Canocta Casino. Myself, Aldi, Michael. Uh, yes, we were just three guys that liked to fish. We had a good time, and that's kind of where it started. Uh, how it evolved. Yeah, we, it was great. We went to the casino. We had burgers. We got really we played, sick. We played slots. That was cool. Yeah. A family that play, gets sick slots, together stays so together. And then we came back we the next year. Lot. Other fellow fishermen joined the crew, the Clear Lake tradition. This is our sixth year at Clear Lake. And what a journey it's been over the last six years. You know, let's just go around the table individually just to introduce yourself, your name, uh, maybe a little fun fun facts. Why don't you start your name? Oh, we're going to start with we'll start we'll start fun, fun, fun fact. You like that? People's champion, you know, your favorite fisherman's favorite fisherman. Oh. Mr. Perfect Cast. Mr. Perfect Cast. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. You know, we're, we're bringing you into the inner sanctum. A little fun fact. Let me hear you say. Okay, a little fun fact. I used to run track 
I broke the long jump record and qualified for state, and I was the first person to qualify in like 30 years. Went all the way out to state and uh, scratched all three times, but I made it to state. Little fun fact. No one matters. Just try. Yeah, hey, try. You know. Oh hey everybody. It's me, and Mike, Mark Henson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love bass fishing. I love my friends. I love the vacation. You it's used to just... live here. I did at one point for 30 Clearly. years. 30 37 years. Mark years. Henson lived here. Wow. wow. Very good. All right. Aldi Waldi. Uh, he wears tight jeans. I w that's not a fun fact. It's, it's just it's an unfortunate yeah, fact. Uh, I'm colorblind, actually. I've got a very uh, minimal palette of visuals picking out the uh, the fishing baits the wife does for me. Oh, wow. I, I did not know that. Who is this guy at the table? Well, <laughs> my name's Justin, Justin Dutcher. Dutcher. I yeah, only no. throw. Yamato spider grubs and launch your ass. I don't know why I hang out with these guys. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm sorry. Mr. Dutcher here is the most active member in the group chat. I will say I, most I, negative active member. Yeah, I'll give you that too. The worst negative. day ever. The sun's out. I'm on the water. I ain't getting bit. Fun fact is, I always see the glass half empty. That's fair. Yeah, you so fun. Friend. Fact about me is, uh, oh, I was a youth and high school sports coach for 15 years. AKA the well, coach. I did the that. Coach. 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 And then I retired from that. And this is actually my first year with you guys here fishing in Clear Lake. Because the last three years I missed this tournament because I was on fire bringing right. a water tank. Oh, they're here, here. The first time. The first time. And uh, I'm Terrence Sullivan, uh, AKA Santa. Beer Santa. Beer Santa. Beer Santa. Uh, you probably know I work at Sierra Nevada. I started there uh, 28 years ago, over half of my life. And I, I was the first graveyard brewer for Sierra Nevada. And I Help help develop torpedo. Oh, yeah. Torpedo IPA. Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's I Thursday. That is uh, the video. I guess I, I don't even know where to take this. To be honest, I mean it's first cast. in the water, dude. First uh, cast. I don't know. Taking it to the lake. We've got the crew here. We've got a full weekend of fishing. But tomorrow's practice. We got three days of tournament fishing. It's going to be another epic weekend. Another fun annual trip to Clear Lake. But uh, guys. Good to be here again, 2022 Clear Lake. We here, fellas! Right. Yes! Alrighty, good morning ladies and gentlemen. It is Thursday morning, the day before the first tournament starts, so our only day of pre-fish. Launched up north, launched in an area that uh, I've never launched before. Been in this area a few times, and historically, it has always been really, really tough. Not the spot to be in August on Clear Lake, but kind of from everyone's uh, information and how tough it is everywhere else, hey, why not try this area again? And clearly, there's a lot of grass. It is a huge grass mat, like 200s off the shoreline. Oh man, I don't even know where to begin. Like, how do you break a giant grass mat like this down without a little hint should be an interesting day really just want to find a bite find some fish based on how tough it's supposedly been so we've got all 10 rods with us today lots of stuff a little overwhelmed right now but man what a beautiful morning like that's uh hard to beat clear lake 2022 starts now You know, it's only been an hour of fishing and ah, I don't know if it's the area or really what I'm thinking is the bite in general. It's tough. I don't know. Just uh, not sure what to do. Not sure if I should go ultra shallow or try to fish deeper. Punch, something moving. It's a tough call.
Hello? Found him. Found him? Oh, the green. No fish. Oh, yeah, I found a lot of that. You find any fish yet? No. <laughs> Negative. Yeah, I got one fish. Where'd you launch at? Right at the house. It was like six inches long. <laughs> I would take a six inch right now. Dude, I was feeling this is gonna be a tough one. <sighs> yeah, it's looking like it. <laughs> It must be like, it must be deep. No, dude, I've been grabbing 25 feet. I haven't seen a fish. Would you catch your I six incher on? Cinco? Oh, God. I've tried like every bait, too. Oh, yeah, I've gone through everything already. Right. It's alright, too. Oh, I would take a catfish right now. I'm gonna probably give this a couple more hours, and if nothing, I'll probably just come launch at the house. Even though it sounds like it's not worth it. It's not. I'm probably gonna take off. I'm gonna give it probably three more hours and try somewhere else. Alright, man. Let me know. Alright, buddy. Let it. Finally. Okay, I just heard and saw in the periphery a bass bust some bait finally. It was in a mat. That's the first positive sign I've had all day. Definitely marking some fish here. You can see him on the graph. Marking some fish. Just gotta figure out what bait they want. You can see him clear as day on the graph. Down imaging, sonar, you can even see him on the side scan. It could be crappie or bluegill too, I suppose. Something's up here, guys. They're not eating like they have in the past, historically, in August. I don't know, it's something, something's going on. I think we've talked about this before, when the bite is really good, anywhere, it means that the factors are all aligning. You know, you need to find them, then you need to have the right bait, you need the right color, and then you need the right presentation and a bunch of other stuff too, but when the bite's easy, when the bite's good, a lot of those factors are more broad. They're in lots of areas of the lake. They'll eat a lot of different baits, lots of different colors, lots of presentations. But when it's tough, all those factors narrow. You know, they're not as spread out. They're more particular on what bait they're going to eat, the size, the color, how fast you're working it. That's why the fishing is generally tougher in the winter, because they're very specific and you have to have all those factors right to get bit. And it is really almost seeming like a winter day of fishing on Clear Lake. Hello. Hello. Yo. Is that you I see out there? I'm by Nice. Yeah, I'm parked right next to your truck. I'm, I'm in my work truck. How many cars are in the parking lot? Just you and that one car. That's it. Oh, wow. There was like seven people this morning. They must all left. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it sucks over here. It's pretty bad. Hey, hang on. I'll, I'm going to make my way in, all right? Have you got anything? No. All right. I'll be there in like two minutes. Ah. So. Right. It's so disgusting right now. It smells so gross. Dude, this cannot be good for your lungs. Maybe that's where all the fish are. And like a really, really gross stuff. And usually, <laughs> this is crazy. Like I've seen it where the water is like right here before. It's the lowest I've ever seen it. Yeah, it's, oh man. Well, this makes my decision easy. Launch it from Airbnb. I had high hopes for this spot too. I did. I thought you were gonna. I figured for sure you'd run into him somewhere down here. No, we're gonna go. You're gonna leave. Usually. Do you think there are any fish left in the lake? I think they're all dead. How'd your day go? Uh, epic. A ripping headache, dehydrated, even though I drank like three gallons of water. Uh, one fish, about six inches long. It beats me. I got zero fish. Yeah. Clearly like, sucked. What happened? I don't know. It's not like last year. It's not like any year I've ever seen. All these rods just get thrown in the trash. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just working because I jumped around a million times today. 
It wasn't even fun fishing. I know. In the morning, I was like, yeah, this is sick for like two hours. Dude. And then I was like, wow, this is really sucking. When I got off the water, it was disgusting. It smelled like dead carp, 100 degrees. And then my wheels were like bent and broken. Oh, and I wanted to pull my truck down to the ramp. Yeah. But as soon as I like started pulling in, a guy, I guess from the county, he didn't even have a work truck. He just pulled in, he's like, what do you think you're doing? I'm like, um, I was gonna explode up my car. He's like, not down there, you're not, not unless you want a ticket. I'm like, but my wheels are broken and there's no one there. He's like, all right, well, I'm about to write you a ticket. Like, all right, well, I'll just make 20 trips in the 100 degree weather and, you know. Really? Like, I get that to his job and I'm not supposed to, but dude, you come be a break. I have a, I have a broken wheel kayak. It's like a 70 yard walk. Dude, no breaks today, buddy. And the, you know what's funny? Oh. He watched me until I got what? everything up there and then he took off. I get it, he's doing his job. You gotta respect that, but man, I could've used a break. I freaking how the hell do you live here and you haven't murdered someone yet being this hot every day? It's disgusting, dude. I just got a shower. I feel like I need to go in again. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna shower here. How's Horrible, dude. I've never fished a flake that bad before. Dude, I got one fish six incher all day. I went here, went all the way down almost to Lubo Point. I ran into about 30 people down there and no one said. I didn't ask him though either. Yeah. I think everybody's in sync. Oh, I don't know. It's not good. I know that. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's all all out for the game. Oh, boy. Well, it is four o'clock. Everyone is back at the Airbnb. This is actually officially the time you have to be off the water for practice. Tournaments begin tomorrow, and you guys saw it really really tough day i still kind of believe that there's fish are everywhere i just don't know exactly if we were throwing the right stuff i think it's more about the right presentation the right bait more than an area i mean i'm sure some areas are better than others but i think it's definitely a, a bait so we're definitely going jerk bait probably eh, this is a new bait we put on for tomorrow again a lot of bait fish tiny bait fish today that we saw getting blown up on we just couldn't connect with anything that was chasing them so we got a tiny little top spin there, a little swim bait on the end. I don't know. Find the grass, Greg. <laughs> Terrence, Terrence caught big fish today. Find the grass. Find the grass. I found the grass. I just can't catch him out of it. Well, you will tomorrow. I hope so. I'm glad someone has faith in me. Confidence is pretty low after today, after that skunker. But tomorrow's another day. I have to say, Mike has the best home screen for the phone. Do you know what that is? You just have four icons and a phone. What are you supposed to have? Oh. Ooh. You know what? Your boy didn't even catch a fish in two days of practice, so uh, I'm just gonna go out there and have some fun. I'm going. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fish with positive energy tomorrow. I need a limit, so uh, you know, I'm just gonna go fishing. It's clear like anything can happen, and well, hopefully, them fish come free. to me. Yep, I'm gonna have the music playing, and uh, you know, I'm gonna keep the party going, baby. Good luck, Al. Thank you, bro. Aldi, probably the best day of all of us. Oh, you see, he's uh, walking on his back right now. Well, I got six on a 12 inch <laughs> Broken back from hauling in all those fish today. Jerk bait, drop <laughs> shot. I got three today. Junk fishing with a frog and a jerk bait. Three fish. Three fish. Sounds so hard to do right now. I know. Uh, and we got less time tomorrow. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Let's go check on Santa. Where's Santa? <laughs> How'd your day go today? Day went pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, I got two two nice fish, uh, 17 plus, uh, 19 plus. Jeez. Uh, missed uh, probably about four or five. So yeah. So you're, you you got some high hopes for tomorrow. Yeah. You don't I get saw them. If you don't get a limit tomorrow, you won't be happy. I will not be happy if I if I fish the same area and uh, mm -hmm. and they're and they're there mm -hmm. uh, obviously. But um, yeah. If I fish tomorrow. We'll see. Good luck, Terrence. I hope. I'd love see. to have five 19s. Uh, I'd like to have five 12 inchers. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, you heard it. Tough fishing. Some of us on them. Who's on them? Some of I think Alden and Terrence are kind of on them. <laughs> that's not on them, dude. That's luck. <laughs> it's 100% luck. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I'm just going to B roll it from here. Pizza, beer, sleep, tournament. Something like that. In that order. State park. Yeah. <sighs> See you guys tomorrow. It's hella hot for turning the day. It's disgusting.
Are you serious? There we go. Oh, black and blue. Black and blue chatterbait. Take that one all day. Black and blue chatterbait. On the fall, what? Crazy. That's a good way to start the tournament. <laughs> That's a good fish to start, guys. Dude, four more keepers, just a limit, and I'd be so happy today. This was gonna be the deal. Certainly take it. God, all right, buddy. Can't believe this is the deal. guys today is gonna be interesting i mean i love the fact that we got two solid fish already i think that might be a pattern at least first thing in the morning i don't care if we get a lot of bites but if we can get the right bites you know a bite an hour on this bait that's like all you can ask for A43 made a little bit of a spot change, not too far, but man, just the confidence meters going back down, hoping to get at least one more bite on the chatterbait. And honestly, that I would have just kept this in my hand all day, but now I'm kind of kind of wondering. Maybe I gotta go to the smaller shad style baits. Maybe some top water frog. I don't even. It's hard to say. Just really wanted one more bite on this. Get your head right, get back in the game, try to catch some bluegill. All right, y'all, have a great day. 
Oh my god. Well, I see it's been uh, tough for Mr. Ensign as well. Maybe I should bust out the Mountain Dew. What's up, man? Well, just got two from the morning. That's it, dude. There's fish blowing up in here, though. Are there? Yeah. That was a carp. No, yeah, but there are bass blowing up. I can't get them to bite, though. Broke my drive right by the entrance of State Park. You broke it? One of my fin rods snapped up inside. It literally snapped because uh, it has a thread. Yeah, I bet you Mike has extra parts. I see uh, Mike isn't doing too well. The Mountain Dew video. You got two catfish today, though. Oh, we got catfish. That's cool, but also that sucks. Wonder how Terrence is doing. I hope better than us. <sighs> I know. Oh, I just would give anything for three more fish, man. 12 inches. Like, you know what sucks is you can't even go to a dock and drop shot. Like, you just can't. There's no dock that has that. Yeah, buddy. Oh, oh, it's a fucking catfish. God. Wait, catfished. I feel like every time we're together in a tournament, you catch a catfish. Remember Barry Essa? Barry Essa? You caught the catfish? Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, here's, I think I got a cat. No, it's a bass. It's a big one. Oh my god, that was like a billion casts to get that fish. Yes, number three, 1113. No rhyme or reason. I think you just gotta land on their head. It's like literally luck. Please. Three hours to land on two more heads. I know. All right, number three, come on, let's go. Two more fish. Dude, that felt like a catfish too. I was just about to say, I can't believe I hadn't got a catfish on a black and blue chatterbait. I feel like that's the bait they always eat, the catfish, the chatterbait. I was like, yep, we just hit the mother load of cats, but. All right, there's some bass in here. Clear Lake still has bass, people. Oh, dude, I just got hit again. Oh, my God. He's on the way down. He's on the fall. Dang it. Dude, that would have been so clutch, number four. felt that or well you didn't feel that but you saw that or heard that on the fall that is so weird that's the second time that happened maybe i'm just scaring a carp and it's just hitting the bait oh my god i just got hit again what the heck i don't know if i might just be landing on carp or catfish or something they're just like spooking away and swatting at it feels like a bite though Well, all the cameras are dying because it is too hot, apparently, and the GoPro 10 can't take it, but... Look at the catfish we just caught. Gosh, dang it.
Uh, I guess that was I was finally due for the Clear Lake catfish. It was finally my turn. Get out of here. Yeah, I got excited. Gosh dang it. It's too bad. I needed that bite. I needed that bite. It's the wrong species. You can like immediately tell when they're catfish. Almost. They're just so strong here. It's either a catfish or an eight plus pound bass. Still haven't seen it. I mean, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's a catfish. Yeah, it's a cat. I can't see it, but I'm... Come on, I gotta get this guy up, but we're wasting time here. Seriously, catching catfish? Oh, it's another giant cat. Why can't you be bass? Got some strong chompers. That's <sighs> kind of fun, I guess. Man, I jinxed myself when I was telling all that I can't believe I hadn't caught a catfish on a black and blue chatterbait, which usually is what I catch them on here. If I'm gonna catch a catfish by accident, it's usually this bait. Shouldn't have said anything, should have kept my mouth shut. We're doing the same thing now for these bites. We're just throwing it near weed clumps, letting it fall. Whether it's a bass or a catfish, they're coming out and getting it. And these weeds are in 10, 11 foot of water too. So there's a good amount of water. This uh, bait has to fall by a fish. I think these fish are sitting right in the middle, right at the five, six foot mark. Kind of get bit halfway down, it seems like. It's like a vertical presentation. One dive, that's good. It is a hundred to be fair. Man, I'd love it if they made a GoPro that didn't overheat. You'd think they'd be able to do that by now. Oh boy, one o'clock, one o'clock. See, the depressing thing about all this is if we just get two more decent fish, we're in the hunt for tomorrow. Just day two West Coast Championship. It's a two day tournament. We back it up today with five keepers. I'm telling you, we're in the hunt. Not saying I could do this again tomorrow here, but we at least have the opportunity. So I gotta get those two though. An hour left. faces over here. Mike's sleeping. He's cuddled up in bed back there. How did Mike do since I won't bother him? Anyone have a report for Mike? Mike did the worst. Zero? No All right, got to go. Not good. Only one one rat. 1375 is all I got. Only bite I got all day on a Kytec. Well, at least you got one. Dance. You had, a big, One, uh, you had a big practice yesterday. Yeah, uh, I got it. Well, I actually went to both spots. Uh, first one was... Oh, this just Whoa. like spit on your face. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, AC just uh, threw ice on me, uh, I think, to try to cool me down. Anyways, both spots, no fish to be found. Caught a 17 and a half on an underspin, Kitek, and at about 1.30, had a blow up on a fluke, missed it. 
That was it. It was tough. Okay. It was a struggle. Mr. Aldi Waldi. Got three threes today. Three pounder and two three inchers. And a catfish. Uh oh, you alright? Damn, was that thing gone or something? Do you still have your finger? Yeah, I do. Okay, because it sounded like your finger just got chopped off. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Why would you stick your finger in Cause it? Because there was I, I thought that, I thought that was like... <laughs> We have an ice maker right there. He oh. wanted payback for a spit in <laughs> Me and you have a history of catching catfish next to each other. I've never caught a catfish before next to you. But you're Asa. It was a carp. Oh, it was a carp. That's yeah. carp. Okay, that's what you were talking that's about this morning. Because okay. you said berry and I was like, I yeah, never caught a catfish berry acid. Okay. People's champ. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was tough out there. You know, I went in. No, um, I fished hard. <laughs> I, I even had to pack up and leave and go to another spot. You know, that's that ain't good when you do that. And I knew it too. When I got there, I was like, please, let me just try to find some fish. I went out there, start fishing. I saw a group of people that was at the spot I was at yesterday. So I'm thinking like maybe this spot didn't turn on. Come to find out, none of them caught a fish. <laughs> but I stuck it out and uh, right before it was time to go in like an hour, I caught one fish there and I was so happy with that fish, 1725. And uh, maybe I figured something out a little bit in that area. Tomorrow we'll get out there and see what we can do. I'm striving to just get five fish somehow, some way, try to bring five fish to justice. What's you see the video? When you do the standard scrolling all the way down, and maybe y'all see. <laughs> I might be, it might be, the, might might be scrolling jump. all the way down. You might make a big jump. But though. I might make a big jump though, oh, exactly, because this is clear length. Ju just for reference, what do we, we have 125? 125. 125 and 46 blanks. 46 zeros today. Only 12 limits. So someone caught one fish today for 19 and a quarter inches and put them in 47th place out of 125. Yo, that's fishing tough. Standings are pretty uh, representative of how tough it was today. As we thought it would be. Maybe I'll just. <laughs> I'll let the I'll let the little angel sleep. Ah. Oh. Boy, well folks, you heard it from the crew. Super tough day. Again, the West Coast Championship day one, tomorrow's day two, but even though it was tough for everyone, including myself, kind of the beauty of this weekend is the fact that there are multiple tournaments. So yeah, West Coast Championship, probably not in the cards for winning for us tomorrow, as far as the crew goes. I don't know, actually, I'm in 21st with three fish, but what I was trying to say is the beauty of this uh, weekend is there's new tournaments starting tomorrow. So tomorrow, not only is it West Coast Championship day two, it's also Chris Laird Memorial Yakabass event day one and then we also have KBF trail day one kind of a fresh start in a sense I mean we're still gonna fish hard as we can for the West Coast Championship day two and like I said three fish today I cannot believe it I cannot believe three fish put us in 21st place I'm disappointed we didn't get two more but I'm also really happy we got three kind of started hot got on a little chatterbait bite black and blue chatterbait got that first fish uh, within maybe like 30 minutes of the tournament nice 19 incher then shortly after cut another Another one on the chatterbait seemed like they wanted either on the fall or real slow but thought we may have been onto something a little uh, pattern yeah just went a long time without bites pretty much fished all the rest of the morning knew it was tough for everybody we took a look at the standings a few times and won a lot of scores being posted so I know it's tough for everyone around and ran into Aldi we saw him catch a catfish maybe that was good luck or something because right after that we caught our third keeper bass another 18 and a quarter yeah that kind of got us rejuvenated I think I jinxed myself when I said that I uh, couldn't believe I hadn't caught a catfish at Clear Lake yet because after that, the only bites we had after that were big old Clear Lake catfish. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fun to catch them, but not exactly what you're looking for during a tournament. I think tomorrow what we do is we try to run what we did today and hopefully get a little bit lucky and then try to expand a little bit. Try to try to figure out some things that we could do differently. I already rigged up some new baits. Yeah, that's the game plan for tomorrow. You know, this kind of has been a, a tough couple of days of fishing, not just for myself, but for everybody here. As stinky, as gross, as hot and disgusting as it is, it's still an awesome awesome time. It is such a uh, tradition nowadays for us to come to Clear Lake in August and uh, it's always good times with the crew. So that's it for the practice in tournament day one video guys. Hopefully the fishing improves, gets a little bit better. We have some better luck. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. So we'll see you guys in the next video.